Welcome back to County Connection. Uh, we have the fine folks uh, from the Summit County Building Inspection Department with us, Scott Hoffman and Sarah Connolly. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank Thanks you. for having us. And we are going to talk about a new time-saving tool, an online tool that the Building Inspection Department has recently implemented called eTrackIt. Um, before we launch into the, uh, the tool itself, Scott, why don't you give us a quick overview of what the building inspection department does. Sure, yeah, well thanks for having us today, Julie. Uh, so I'm the billing official. Um, we do provide inspection and plan review services for unincorporated Summit County. Uh, in addition to Summit County, we work with the towns of Silverthorne, the town of Dillon, and the town of Montezuma as well. And then we provide electrical service to the town of Frisco. So what we'll do is if you're trying to build a, a home or a deck or a condominium, so you get a set of plans together. Uh, you'll submit those plans to us. We'll review those plans in a timely fashion. Uh, we'll review those plans and we'll do uh, a code check for both architectural and structural compliance of them. After we reviewed the plans, we'll then issue the permit and perform inspections throughout the course of the project. Okay, and then yeah. some of those various inspections that you might do? Um... Yeah, so we'll start from uh, with the, the first inspection we'll do is a footing inspection, which is what the building uh, sits on and the foundation. And then we'll look at the framing of the building, the plumbing systems, the electrical systems, and mechanical systems. Uh, and then we do final inspections to make sure that everything is finished out right. And each project is a little bit different. So, you know, the simplest project will do four or five inspections. The most complex will probably do hundreds of inspections. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, for those bigger projects in particular, you're really getting to know the, the builder and the owner pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things we really try to do is uh, develop a rapport with uh, all the clientele from, uh, you know, the person that's doing the $50 million water treatment plant to the person that's doing the, you know, the $5,000 deck. Um, it's important for us to be part of that community and make sure things are, are built right, but also to be available to people just to talk to them and, and help them through. Building in general is much more complex than, uh, than it's originally thought of at times. And so we try to take those complexities and make them pretty understandable. And right. we've got a great, great group of builders uh, up here that we've been working with for decades and, and they create an incredible product, which is really fun for us to work with. All right. Yeah. And so to, uh, to help take these relationships to the next level yeah. and make it easier for yeah, folks to uh, interact with you guys, you have this new online tool called, tool called e -Track It. Um, so what's this tool all about? Yes, that's great. So what, what we've done is, is through the course of the year, we'll, we'll issue probably 600 permits. And in those 600 permits, Julie, we'll do probably 10,000 inspections. Wow. So 10,000 inspections annually, it's a lot to organize. It's a real lot to schedule. And so what we wanted to do is we wanted to try to, to embrace some of the newer technology out there to help us ease that, some of the scheduling. And so we have this new program called eTrackIt, which is a web-based program, like you just mentioned, and allows us to schedule inspections and to view inspection results online. So you can do it from your PC or your laptop at home. Currently, we don't have the ability to do it on the mobile phone. We're working in that direction. We don't have that right now, but what it'll allow you to do is hop online at the end of the day and log into the e track it and simply add your inspections and give remarks to the inspector for that next day's inspection rather than previously you had to call in on the phone and you know press one if you want to schedule an inspection press two to enter in the number and, and things like that so it's expedited that process quite a bit okay so in the comfort of your office yeah. or your pajamas at home yeah or what have yeah you, they sound comfortable yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely um it makes that um communication and information sharing and requesting um, a lot easier. Yeah, it sure does. And in addition to being able to schedule uh, just one building inspection is that you can go to your associated electrical, plumbing, fireplace, and mechanical permits, and they're all attached online. So you can schedule your building inspection, then just click on your mechanical inspection um, and, or, and order or schedule that inspection at the same time as well, which is very convenient. Okay. Um, in addition to that, you're able to, uh, if you're not on site for the inspection, you can log on. Uh, at the end of the day to see whether or not you've passed it. So, oh, okay, so for instance, if you're out of town on work or, um, again, uh, you know, outside of the normal working hours and you don't want to drive up in the snow to 10,000 feet to see if you passed, you just hop online bloop, and, uh, and you can find that information out, which is great. Okay. Yeah. So then the folks who are going to be using this are contractors, potentially the owners. Mm -hmm. um, who else might um, take advantage of the of e-track it. Yeah, uh, other people that could do that would be the public. Um, so for instance, if you're wondering uh, if you're interested in buying a house, 
and uh, your realtor is working through, you can see whether or not the house has gotten their certificate of occupancy uh, that for those final inspections yet. You're able to see if your neighbors pull, uh, pulled appropriate permits. Okay. Um, things like that. Sarah, do you have anything that... So in the we can mention the as built as well. So if you are a septic contractor, they can look up the as built, which is typically also something that people use for closing if they need to see where the septic tank is and things like that. So yeah. that information is there instead of having to call in and get it from um, Jan works at the Environmental Health Desk. So okay, yeah. yeah. So we're public information. It's more just getting disseminating more public more information to the public, which is I think a really nice aspect to this. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, um, so there are a lot of great capabilities here, um, but it's actually not that complicated. I, Sarah gave me a little uh, tour um, mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago. So how do people go about using it? So what you do is you're gonna go on to the Summit County website, which is co.summit.co.us, and um, under the community development umbrella, we are, you'll see building inspection and then the inspection page. You can click on the eTrack it link and go right to it. Um, it's easy enough just to create a, a simple login to, to do your inspections. You cannot request an inspection unless you have a login, but you can look at um, different properties and different permits if you're not logged in, which is good. Okay. Um, but it's very easy. There's a help page there that I created, and it's step-by-step, step and you can see uh, I, what it is, took screenshots of the actual e-track it so that you can see exactly what you're doing and, and, and get it. It's, it's very simple. It's easier than signing up to get a checking account. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, so any other um, Parting shots here. Um, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd like to just really encourage uh, our group to go out and use it. We're trying to eventually going to move away from the, the old phone one. Uh, so that's not something we're going to do tomorrow, but we're hoping to do in the next couple of years. Uh, certainly feel free to give me a call directly if you have problems. Um, I went on and logged on myself. I went right to the help button. I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not a technical savant by any stretch. Uh, I'm more of a kinesthetic learner, I believe my wife calls it, which is I have to do th something a couple times. I can't, I struggle with reading directions, but it's pretty easy. You, know, you ch choose a username, have your kid or your dog as your password, and then bang, you're on to schedule your inspections. If you just want to see what's going on down the road, you don't have to have anything at all. You can just hop online. So go to our website, co.summit.co.us. That'll get you. Go to the, uh, the community development page under building inspection, and you go to inspections, and there's a little button that says e-track it. Click on that and you should be good to go. But if you do have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Okay, and what would be a good number? Um, you call me directly, 668-4082 is my direct line. Then. Yep. All right, fantastic. Yeah. This sounds like a really great step for more efficient uh, operations for you guys and then a more efficient um, experience and uh, time-saving experience for all your customers. We believe it will be, yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, thanks very much. If you have questions or are interested want to get more information on any of the programs we've mentioned here today, you can head to our website at co.summit.co.us, and you can uh, also watch these videos online or any of our previous episodes. Um, so thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next month on County Connection.